let's make sense of these allegations first. I know he's not one of the, uh, he's just one out of a lot of other big, big names, uh, you know, that have been involved in this, yet a <laughs> Mephiele mm. under, you know, the radar again. Yeah. What do you make of all this? Well, um, the arrests, detention, and prosecution of Godwin Emefele mm. is, um, is going to open a can of worms. Mm. I'm not surprised that um, somebody is bold enough, or maybe an organization is bold enough to raise a petition. To raise a petition. And that person has also copied the special investigator, yeah, Obaze. Obaze. And the person is categorical hmm. about that very issue. The movement of foreign exchange to the tune of three point something billion, billion dollars. in one transaction, that is one transaction to an individual, not at the prevalent rate, the rate. but at a rate that is ridiculous. And when you also look at the commissioning of the Dangote refinery, hmm. A Mephele who has been, I mean, he's been doing the kind of um, maneuvering mm. since um, the Naira, since, yeah. okay, since his aspiration, yeah. the Naira change, yeah. the allegation that he was funding terrorism, exactly. and the way his security was changed, now military were protecting him, the mm. SS were no longer protecting at him, and point. all of that at some point. Yeah. And he spoke at that um, commissioner of the commissioning, in quotes, mm. of the refinery, of the rem of the refinery. which has remained uncompleted, he said, they thought we couldn't do it. We have done it. And some of us were asking, who are the we? Who are the we? This is supposed to be a, a private, private refinery. refinery. Started a few years ago. And is now commissioned to start production almost immediately. So the question mm. arose when he went further yeah. to add that Dangote has refunded 70% of the loan federal government gave to him. 70%. According to the CBN government. According to the CBN governor. And the refinery has not even started working. The refinery has not started working? Where did he get the money? How much loan did you give to a Dangote. private person to fund the biggest refinery almost in the world? Uh, the, and the, then the biggest modular refinery. Yes, and then uh, what are we talking about? The issue of the government's investment in it, just 20%. Mm. So, I raised the statement, put a question mark mm. on the transparency of the, even the ownership of, of the Dangote refinery. refinery. No, but it has never been hidden. We hear that mm. he is a majority stakeholder. It's not 100% his own. There, are stories, there is also mm. a, a, a possibility, not even a possibility, we've also heard that a significant fraction of it is owned by government. 20%. Government have been clear on that 20%. Exactly. But then how is... Although Dangote is, is the controller. He's yeah. co he has controlling shares. Those that have done some background checks have said that they have not been to see other investors in that refinery. It's possible. Yeah. They have not been able to see them... Mm through the records here and there, but that's not even the issue. The issue is that a Mephele mm. shot himself in the foot by that statement, by that statement which sh is subject to investigation. So, I want to commend uh, Awal, or what is his name, the person that um, raised the petition, the, the petition, because there's no two ways about it. What has been going on in this country mm. over some years now calls for proof. It calls for very serious proof because we cannot <coughs> for whatever reason continue to be deceiving ourselves that we are running a country which we hope to work whereas some persons have taken us for a ride i i i, I commend uh, the petitioner all right we are